Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic, sparkling, thankful Thursday, um, Thanksgiving as well for those of you here in the US. Um, it has been a busy day. And now I thought that, um, and, you know, I was looking at my schedule and I thought, oh, yeah, I've got time to put a movie in here, I can put a movie in here. Yeah, the best laid plans of mice and men. Um, not sure where the day went. <laughs> I started the day off with our regular Monday through Thursday Zoom, although it was really good because instead of doing our normal training we did, um, got on there and we all said what we were grateful for, which was really, really cool. Um, and then after that, I um, had some breakfast. We did the walk before the before the first Zoom call. Um, we had some breakfast and, um, and then I was going to go and do my final exam, but it was a 90-minute exam and I had just under 90 minutes until my next zoom so we just sort of um what did we do zeph we played a little bit and just tidied up a little bit and then um got on the other zoom and the zoom was um with my favorite author cg cooper he had organized a zoom for his what he calls team cooper what's the matter Zephy girl come here she's laying on the floor whining i don't know why come on do you want to come sing a duet with me come on come on no, that's not coming up here. Just putting your front paws on the seat doesn't count. Gee, I know. She wants to go for a WA, okay. Um, we will do that as soon as this is over, okay? Um, and so got on that and got to put faces and voices to a lot of the people that um, we interact with online. And we use a platform called Mighty, Mighty Networks. And um, Carlos is a really, really good engager with his, very, very engaged with, his, with Tim Cooper and so we got to have some great conversations in there. We got to ask him some questions. Um, it was, a, it was um, a very good hour with that. And then as soon as that was over, I got on and I did my final exam um, for my genealogist certificate and passed it with 100%. So I was like, yes. Um, and so now I'm sort of like, okay, what, what course am I going to do next? So that's on the agenda tomorrow is to go look at what other classes and courses are out there for to keep my education with genealogy just it's just continual education um, because being part of the Association of Professional Genealogists is you have to do at least 12 hours of training a year and I just making it a regular part of my um, of my daily habit a regular part of my um, daily op daily methods of operation is to do some training throughout the day um, every day because genealogy is such a vast field because you're looking at it's you know it's part of history so um and it's a specialized part of history so and then within that genealogy thing you have specialists within that as well um so it's learning about the other specialist fields that are out there instead of just being a general genealogist is there a field that particularly appeals to finding that field that um because right now i'm a general genealogist but um i like specializing in, in certain things but i'm learning more about some of the specialities that are out there for genealogists that you can go into and seeing if it's something that um, which branch of genealogy I want to go into but you know also things like learning about history because um, different events in history had different impacts on the movement of, of families from different countries you know from immigrating from one country to another so it's finding out you know what what impact different events in history had um, on the movement of people and when you're learning about the history as well you've also got to think too that there were families that were impacted by that particular event. How were they impacted? Um, you know, you've got um, all the stuff that happened in World War II. There was so much going on during that time. All the different campaigns that were going on, um, and the different prosecutions that were going on during the persecutions that were going on during that time as well. Um, what impact did that have on the movement of people? And um, are any you know and I've got to know just a general information about those times as to when people come in and say we think my parent you know think my great-great-grandparents came over from from Europe but we're not sure when and you go back and you find out they came over during World War two and um, and you can find out the reasons behind because this is what was happening in their country at the time and they fled um, so it's finding out that impact you know how do people end up here in America why did they leave where they were what was going on at the time and it could have been um, religious reasons. It could have been, um, let's see, religious reasons. There was wars going on. They needed to escape the war. Um, they just wanted to get somewhere safe for their family. So there's lots of reasons. You know, governments were offering. Um, there were times when some governments were offering um, 
to subsidize people to go to different countries to help colonize them. I know in England they had um, they were subsidizing people to go to New Zealand to help colonize it. And then you had the Australians. There was um, two ways that Australia got colonized. Either you were convicted and sent there as a prison sentence, or you were um, you went down there as a colonist and colonized the country that way. So Australia is a very interesting mix of um, a very interesting mix of people down there as well. So you know why did people? How did people end up in Australia? Were they were they convicts? Did they descend from convicts, or did they were they people that went down there to colonize? So there's all those sorts of things that you've got to look at as well. Um, so I'm putting training excuse me, into my schedule every day, but I want to do not just going and reading about a particular time in history, I actually want to go and learn and get um, and do classes, you know, self-paced classes in, um, in different areas of history, of genealogy and things, just to broaden my knowledge and so that I can better serve those that I'm going to be helping with their family trees and things too. Um, so I got that one done and then we went had then we had lunch and then we went and had a nap and then it was time for zoom number three and zoom number three today which I just got off which is why I was like getting on this one was um, our regular Thursday networking one and it's really good because the way they do this it's not like a normal networking event where you go you stand up do your 30 second or 60 second commercial and sit back down again and not pay attention to anybody else's um, this is one where we ask each time you go into a breakout room, there is a specific question that you have to ask. So we had things today like our break, first breakout room was, what is one thing in your personal life you're grateful for? Um, the second breakout room was what, and each breakout room you get different people, they mix it up each time. Um, the second breakout room was, what was one thing in your business that you're great, thankful for this year? And then the third one was, what is one thing... Um, that you could use some help with to help you finish your year strong. So three very different things, and you're not concentrating on giving your 30 second commercial. You're constant. You're more talking about other things in life. So it was um, it was very interesting, and the people I got to meet. To, um, actually, I don't think I met anybody new today. They're all people that I have known, but not had. And some of them I, I haven't had a chance to sit down and get to have a get to know them call. So it was a very interesting. Um, because I got to meet people who I knew through different events um, but haven't had that um, time to have a one-on-one -on -one connection with them to learn more about them so I like events like that because you get to know people on a different level instead of a just a, hi my name's Helen Brahms I'm a genealogist from your family tree detective where we help you where we um, where we make digging around your family tree fun and sit back down again yeah, no, we don't we don't do any of that. So it's it's kind of cool. It's a great way to network and all of that sort of stuff and learn about other people's businesses through specifically asked questions. So I love that. And now we are going to um, this evening we are going to head off to the dog park. We're going to see if Trixie is available to come play with with Zephy today and um, watch those two dogs roll around in the dirt again. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned her harness off from, <laughs> from yesterday morning. <laughs> so it went from being a nice clean harness yesterday morning when we started our walk she came back her harness was instead of being pink dark pink it's now that brown dusty color um but it's been nice here today it's been 71 degrees outside it's been awesome um and we've just had a very enjoyable day Zephy slept most of it um she was either curled up on the bed in the bedroom or she was curled up on her bed on the dash and that's basically where she's been all day but now she's sort of like okay the energy's starting to flow, let's go play, and um, tried to play with her throughout the day, and she was just like, what well, do you want to play, and she just like lift her head up, and put it back down, and go to sleep, and I'm like, okay, um, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a great, great day, so hope you've all had a, or uh, have had, or are having a super fantastic sparkling Thanksgiving, um, full of love and laughter, um, I realized today that this is the first time since my very first Thanksgiving, which was in 1996, this is the first time I'm having a Thanksgiving by myself. Um, but you know what? I'm having a great day, and I'm grateful for this day that I've got, where I did all the meal preps before, I did all the food prep beforehand, so I did the one thing I said I was going to do, which is just graze throughout the day. You want some breakfast? Just go throw some Cheerios in a bowl and um, and munch on those. And um, yeah, Zephy's got little tidbits throughout the day as well, which is probably why she's kind of in a food coma. But she doesn't get a lot. She doesn't get a lot. She gets like three Cheerios. Or is it four? 
She gets no more than five. Um, she gets a little bit of cheese. She had a little bit of cheese earlier on at, the, at lunchtime as well. And then she went and, well, ate half of her food in her bowl. So she's probably in a bit of a food coma. But now we're going to get to go play. And we're going to see if Trixie can join us. And we're going to have, um, I don't know what we're going to do this evening. I really don't. I'm just going to play it by ear. But it's been a, it's been a fantastic day. And so I hope you've all had a super fantastic sparkling day. And we will catch you guys tomorrow for um, Fun Friday. So, hi, Ponera. <laughs>